Hi guys, welcome back to Informed Beauty. I apologize for the long hiatus. I was visiting Ontario for two weeks and now I'm back. What I should have done is I should have uh, pre-recorded videos and posted them, but uh, you live and you learn, I guess. So today is going to be an empties video. And if none of you have, or if some of you have never seen an empties video, it basically is products that I've almost used up or I've used up in the past, which usually it tends to mean that you enjoy a product and there are a few products in the bag here that I have that I didn't really like and I probably won't finish so there's a few of those as well so let's dig right in um the first product here and it's completely random it's not just makeup it's beauty products or candles as you can see here so Bath and Body Works has my absolute favorite candles of all time they are the most fragrant they burn really evenly, they fill up your entire room, and I find that the smells are really um, realistic. So this one is Farmstand Apple, and I know that this isn't totally done yet, but I'm going through it really quickly. And I actually have another one here that I used up completely, and I washed it out, and I'm now using it as a sample holder. So one of my friends gave me a bunch of samples, and um, I thought that it would be a pretty container to hold the samples in. So this one is maple cinnamon pancake. I just, I really like sweet smells, um, not just for body lotions or fragrances, but also for um, candles. So this one I bought around Christmas time and I, I went through it so quickly. I think it took me less than a month or about a month to, to burn through the candle, which was probably a record for me. Um, so this was the first Bath and Body Works candle that I've ever completely finished, but I'm well on my way. Um, with this form stand apple one and this um, I find that a lot of their fruity smells they're very realistic so if you actually smell this oh my gosh like every time if it, it actually feels like you're dipping your nose into a barrel full of apples like I don't know how they make the smell so realistic but it's amazing um, so definitely an empty that I really enjoy um, I have a few candles in my house and that's just I'm kind of obsessed about Bath and Body Works. Uh, so moving on to the next product. Uh, this is a body lotion, the Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. I love Victoria's Secret stores. And this is probably my most favorite um, fragrance of body lotions that they have. Um, I've bought several of these over the past many years. So this is the latest bottle that I'm almost gone through. It's a cherry blossom and peach scent. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's probably one of my favorite scents of all time, not just in this particular store. Um, it's not the most moisturizing lotion, but it's it does the job, and I mainly buy it because I really like the smell. Um, but uh, don't get me wrong, it is, it is moisturizing. They do have um, a shea butter, or not a shea butter, but a shea version of this as well. Uh, so there are more moisturizing versions. Um, but yeah, I just love to... Ah, it just smells so good. There's also another one called Pure Seduction, I think, and that one I also really enjoy. Um, the next product is something that's a lot more basic. It's a, it's a face wash that my boyfriend actually recommended to me um, because I was looking for something that could deal with potential acne flare-ups. Like I sometimes get pimples, I have oily skin or oilier skin. Um, this is a very no-nonsense face wash. So it's basically, it has no scent. I mean, it has a very chemically smell to it, but it has no fragrance. Um, but if scents really bug you, this could bug you because it has such a strong, pungent, chemically scent to it. Um, initially, it bugged me a little bit, and then I just got used to it. Uh, it is meant, this particular one is meant for blemish-prone skin. It's fragrance-free. Like I said, it's recommended by dermatologists. And I find that it's also meant for sensitive skin. Like I don't normally have sensitive skin, although lately I feel like maybe my skin is becoming more sensitive. But um, I find that it, my skin looks its best when I use this particular face wash. And when I switch from to other face washes, sometimes I start to break out more. Um, so I tend to go back to this. It's a little bit pricier. I think it's $16 per bottle or something like that. London Drugs usually has good deals on it, and that's usually where I buy it. 
and this is Canadian dollars that we're talking about because I live in Canada. Um, but if you have some trouble looking for face washes that are good for your skin or work for, for your skin type, maybe try this out and see if it works for you. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. So, or if you're just not sure what you want to try, you don't have any preference either way. Uh, next product is the Body Shop Body Butter. So this is probably the most moisturizing lotion I have ever used on my body. And I always, always used to use it on my feet, like on the soles of my feet, on my ankles, oh, not my ankles, but my heels, my toes, like all around my foot before bed after I take a shower. And then I put socks on and I go to bed. And I find that that really keeps me from developing really hard calluses on my feet, um, or at least it minimizes it. Um, and they have really good scents. So this is a raspberry version. And as you can see, I go through these so fast. Um, I love the raspberry smell, but they have a, a, a bunch of other scents, like grapefruit. Um, sometimes they have blueberry. They come out with Christmas specials like um, cinnamon apple, cranberry, berry scents, all sorts of things, vanilla. Um, but it, it's very moisturizing. Um, I try to put it all over my body, not just my soles and my feet after I shower every day. I haven't been as good about it lately, but um, I do try. Next product is Batiste Dry Shampoo. So I know there's been a lot of talk about beauty products and specifically dry shampoo on YouTube. Um, some people swear by it. Other people just don't really like dry shampoo in general. Other people just love any dry shampoo. Um, I tried other dry shampoos, specifically Herbal Essences, and it did not work for me. It didn't give me any volume. Batiste is, is what I swear by. It, it really gives my, the roots of my hair volume. The only thing is, if you're a brunette, it does give your hair a white cast. It kind of looks like you have some gray hair going on. Um, what I try and do is I try and spray um, not too close to my hair so that it doesn't look super cakey or white. But just something to keep in mind is that it does give you a bit of a white cast. I have heard that there is a dry shampoo that has like a, a brown color to it so that it actually meshes or blends with your hair. I've never tried it before. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen it in stores, but I've never really paid attention much to it. So maybe next time I'll give that a shot. But this, I go through it pretty quickly. I, there's still a decent amount in here left. But my friend gave me a travel size version of this when I was traveling and I went through it in those two weeks like it was done. I was quite shocked actually because <laughs> I did I wasn't even using it every day. So um, just goes to show that I, I do enjoy it but but the small travel size ones do uh, go pretty quickly. Um, and this is a really random mishmash of products. Um, this is the Naked 2 palette. So I got this two, three years ago. And I finally got to the bottom of it about, well, I stopped using it a while ago because I ran out of every single shade except for one. And I never, oh, it just fell out. Well, then I was going to depot it. Um, I guess it depotted on its own. I'm actually happy that it has a little encasement to it because now it's easier to just throw this out. Throw, I can't talk. Throw this out now because it's a waste of space. Um, unless I, DIY it and do something with it but anyway waste of space uh, so this is the only shadow that I have left I really loved it it took me two years to go through and now I have eyeshadow shadow over my hands um, I now have the naked one palette I've never tried the naked three but I'm sure I would love it it's my go-to palettes for everyday eyeshadow it just they're pigmented they're very soft you know there's fallout but there's fallout for me with any eyeshadow I really like the shades they're just good quality um, eyeshadow. Um, there is also a e.l.f. lip exfoliator here. So I purchased this online a few months ago and I just wanted to give it a try because I've never tried lip exfoliators before. I've discussed this on my channel. It's basically in lipstick form and I apologize it's really gross. It's pretty much done now. It's basically it has these beads that are rough and you rub them against your um, lips but it also has like a creamy base to it like a lipsticky base but not like bomb more like a bomb base so that when you put it on it's not just like raw hard um i just really like the smell of it this is the cherry tart flavor and it just it smells amazing and i do feel like it exfoliates my lips nicely they do look smoother after i remove the lip exfoliator sometimes i leave it on 
and it just kind of comes off or I eat it or I will put it on like rub it on and then I'll take a tissue and I'll rub off the rest and when you rub it off it also exfoliates your lips in the process so I just really enjoy the smell and it seems to be doing what it says that it should do so uh, there's a few more than a few products left so this is the Aveeno Skin Brightening Daily Scrub. Uh, so this is something that I noticed my boyfriend had purchased at the shoppers a while ago. And I tried it one time and I decided to get one myself because it is, I, I loved the smell of it. And the microbeads in here, they're not super big because they're microbeads. And you don't feel like you could actually use this on a daily basis without feeling like you're really scrubbing your face. Um, it feels refreshing. It doesn't dry your skin out. And I love the smell of this. It smells like green tea mixed with honey almost. And I love that kind of smell in beauty products. It's very, I can't describe it. But if you're looking for a really um, non-abrasive, gentle daily scrub for a face wash, this this one I would highly recommend. Um, it says with moisture-rich soy extracts and gentle microbeads, gently exfoliates for even tone and texture. I really like it. Avino has some really good products. Um, this is Old Spice. It's an antiperspirant meant for men. Um, it's in the, sh I don't know why it's called this, but it's called Wolf Wolfthorn. Um, I was looking for antiperspirant that I could get a better bang for my buck because I find a lot of women's antiperspirants are super tiny. You go through them so quickly and they're pretty pricey, uh, at least in Canada. So I decided to try a men's antiperspirant, but I was like, well, am I going to be able to find a scent I like? I don't want to smell like super musky because I don't like musky scents. Uh, and then I found Wolfthorn. So this, it, it looks like Kool-Aid. It smells like, it actually, it kind of smells like punch, like lemon punch or like fruit punch or Kool-Aid or something. It has a very sweet but tart smell, almost like Smarties if you made them into liquid. I don't know how to explain it. Um, it smells amazing, but I find that it doesn't prevent me from smelling. Like throughout the day, I find that I st I'm starting to smell my body, like my BO. And with my like ladies' antifurst friends, it actually controls the, the smell better for me. Which I find really strange because I assumed that the men antiperspirant or the male antiperspirants would have a stronger odor control, but I find they have a less odor control. At least, at least this one. Maybe some of the other Old Spice antiperspirants would work better for me. I'm not sure. And the other thing is, is that I had a small little nick in my underarm, on my armpit, and when I was, I accidentally got some of it in there, and it caused a really bad rash almost. So I don't know, I, I just find that this stuff stings more if you accidentally have like a little, little nick. Um, I just don't like the formula of this, but the smell is amazing. So I might be looking for other male antiperspirants in the future, but right now I went back to female antiperspirant just because there was a good sale on it. So uh, the other thing is the Essence Dip Eyeliner. So this is my go-to every single day. It's super cheap. It's like $3 at the drugstore. Uh, Essence is probably one of the cheapest drugstore makeup brands I've ever seen, but it's good quality for the most part. Um, I actually bought, this is a new one, but I do have, um, I recently threw out the old one because it was all dried out and I was almost done. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. I'm wearing it today and I'll take my glasses off so you can see. I'm really proud of my cat eye today. So. I thought I'd show it off, but it, it's very pigmented. I really like this kind of application, like the smaller tip and you have more fine um, tuning that you can do. Um, so it's, I like it in black and it's easy to make like fine details, especially when you're curving your line out on the side of your eye. Uh, so I would recommend it. I know some people don't like this type of application, but, or that type of applicator tip but it really works for me. And two more products, like super tiny ones. So this is a brow pencil. And again, this is from Essence. And as you can see, I sharpened it down to nothing. I have a new one now, I think in a darker brown color that I'm wearing right now. This one was a little bit lighter and I think it worked with my skin tone and my hair color a little bit better, but 
Um, I have nothing bad to say about these. They're easy to use. I have been filling out, filling in my brows quite often, almost like on a daily basis now. Uh, and again, super cheap. I can't remember how much it was, but it probably wasn't more than five dollars. Um, yeah. So that's that. And last product, last but not least, this is a tiny little professional sample that I got in my Etsy bag. I know this is kind of cheating because I mean, it doesn't take very long to empty this. But I really liked this. It's a silicone based pore filler, as I'm sure many, many of you already know. This has been discussed to death on YouTube. Um, I like that it has a mattifying finish to the skin when you put it on, because not all primers have that. And as somebody with oily skin, that really, um, I prefer a mattifying finish. Not super mattifying, but I do find that it does fill in pores, especially problem areas like near the nose on the cheek here and up between my eyebrows. And um, yeah, I, I just like the way it goes on and it, it does the job. It makes my skin look a little bit more flawless. Um, so maybe in the future, I will be getting more of this once I have a little bit more money. <laughs> um, all right, well, that's it. Thank you so much for listening. I'm actually really excited for my uh, March Ipsy Bag review because uh, I might be filming that today, if not in the next few days. So watch for that. I'm hoping to get more videos out in the next little while, uh, but I'm excited to have shared my first empties video with you as well. So if you have not yet subscribed or liked my videos, please do so. Please give me comments and suggestions as well. I'm still in the process of learning how to edit videos. I have not edited any of my videos yet. Um, once I get that done, I will be able to do more things and more tutorials. Thank you so much for listening and I will see you in a little bit. Bye guys.